I'm Sandy Hossie and I do some volunteer work here in the Orange County Jails. Sometime in the last year or two I was online and I saw a mural by Alex Cook and it said, you are loved and it spoke right to my heart. My name is Alex Cook. Uh, I'm an artist, a uh, mural public artist from Boston, Massachusetts. I served as a volunteer chaplain at a jail in Boston for seven years and during that time uh, I became familiar with a lot of the issues that the guys in that jail were, were dealing with and uh, a lot of it was, can I be forgiven? Am I valuable? Uh, is my life worth anything? And it was clear uh, in lots of those interactions that the necessary antidote to the terrible feelings and fears that they were having was a felt sense of being valuable. So I, I went and heard Alex speak at a school in LA where he was doing a mural and I was very moved by what he had to say to the student body about uh, his life as an artist and that they all had something to give. And I thought, you know, what better place to have a mural than in the local jail? And so I made up a little flyer and I brought it to a coordinator's meeting because I do this volunteer work and I happen to already have a connection. And it just so happens that they were doing a renovation in the jail. The You Are Loved mural project is something I started about two and a half years ago based around the idea that uh, it can be very helpful and powerful to have beautiful, confident, unapologetic statements of support for anyone, certainly not just uh, people in jail, people everywhere. Uh, and since then we have painted uh, 17 You Are Loved murals in uh, five states around the country. Uh, the You Are Loved project includes five statements. You are loved, you are needed, you are important, you are beautiful, and you can do it. I chose these five statements because I was considering the times when I felt most uh, weak, most unable, most threatened in my life. What were the things that I most needed to know that would have helped me the most if I had understood the truth of them? And that's how I arrived at those five statements. Uh, and so, as part of the project, I work to bring those statements to public places. So the timing was really good. Uh, I started a GoFundMe page online and um, had a lot of support from the local community and from the churches. Um, very, probably I'd say in a month or two, we met our goal and uh, were able to bring Alex out from Boston to do the mural. Uh, I'm here at the Central Men's Jail in Santa Ana, California where we are painting a You Are Loved mural with uh, inmates. We've been working with a group of uh, eight or nine inmates here at the jail who are the, the regular painting crew. They're the guys who normally are going from unit to unit and actually just doing the painting on the walls. Uh, so they have had a, a, a bit of um, uh, variety in, from their normal work, which is you know more with brushes than rollers. Uh, and interestingly, more uh, with work that requires their individual hand um, that, that will show that it was painted by a, by a, a human being with actual um, uh, individuality. When I think of all the problems that people have, all the terror, all the fear, all the self-hatred, the loathing, uh, just the darkness that, that really everyone deals with at some point in their life, it mostly, if not exclusively, revolves around feeling an absence of love. There will be as many reactions to, to the You Are Love statement as there are people. I have no control over the reactions that, that there will be. However, I feel absolutely confident that a lot of the reactions will be that that statement will land in their, in their heart. For me, it certainly grows out of a sense of God's love, the, the love of God that I feel, that I have felt, and that has saved me. Uh, however, I know that not everyone feels that way, um, but I still feel very confident making this statement that you are loved because as someone honestly goes through their life, I believe that many of us can find, yes, there is another person that loves me. There was a teacher who loved me. I'm capable of loving myself. Or even at the very last, I have felt like if someone can say, no, there's no one that loves me, I do feel confident saying, yes, I am the artist and I do love you. Uh, so there, I, don't, I think it's universally true. I don't think there's anyone that 
uh, that this is not true about. It's just not actually possible. <laughs> there was a lot of little steps going in, but it's come together very nicely. Year after year, those words will be there. Large. Larger than life, towering over them, uh, and stating it again and again.